Braided wigs and how it's made. Making a wig for everyday use can be a difficult, time-consuming task. Before we go on don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive new updates. It's 100 point symbol. Handmade and durable. This process is left usually up to the professionals. That's where we at Pretty Little Bundles come in when it comes to braided wigs making. That's a fact sit back and enjoy this braided wigs making process. You will be glad you did. First step is to measure around the head at the hairline. We are very detailed during the process. Isn't this so exciting? The process involves using a tape measure to measure along the hairline. The tape measure should extend from the base of your hairline at your neck to the top of your hairline at the forehead. Are you with me? The tape measure should wrap just above the ears on either side of your head. Place the end of a tape measure at the center of your forehead, drape the tape measure over the crown of your head and down to the middle of the nape, where your natural hairline ends. Step 3 Measure from one ear to the other. Matching the end of the tape measure to the beginning of your natural hairline. Step 2 Measure down the center top of your head. Transfer the measurements to a wig block. We draw a rough sketch of the perimeter of the head based on the measurements. We use a tape measure to measure out the same distances for the perimeter of the head, the crown of your head, and the distance between the ears. Alternatively, we use a lace cap or other fine knit cap that will fits on the head and place it over the wig block. But doing this can be easier than trying to form and apply strips of cotton lace. Nail cotton ribbons to the block. We line the cotton ribbon along the perimeter of the wig outline, as drawn previously. We then make sure that the ribbons are as flat as possible on the wig block. Gently hammer the ribbon onto the wig block using small nails. If you decide to use a styrofoam head instead of a wooden wig block, you can use sewing pins instead of nails to attach the ribbons. Moisten strips of cotton lace by quickly spritzing them with water from a spray bottle. They can, however, be a little longer at this point. Use as few strips as possible, opting for larger pieces rather than many smaller ones. Pin the lace in place before sewing it onto the ribbon you can find cotton lace in a variety of colors, but avoid lace with patterns already embroidered into it. Wetting the lace beforehand makes it easier to form and shape. Note that the strips of cotton lace must be at least as long as the measurement you took for the crown of your head. Drape the strips of cotton lace over the wig block and stitch them to the ribbon. Try the foundation on. Remove the nails from the ribbon and take the wig foundation off the wig block. Try it on to determine if it fits correctly. When everything fits the right way, trim off any excess cotton lace that hangs past the ribbon border of the wig foundation. Preparing the hair. Choose real or synthetic hair. Choose the color. Choose the length that suits you. Remember it's glueless. Lightweight. Washable. Durable. Generally, for a wig that will be worn every day, you would want to use real hair. For a wig only worn on occasion, you might be able to use synthetic hair. Hope you are enjoying the process. Pretty Little Bundles is about beautiful hair, beautiful care. Like, comment and share.